I know in our industry uh, in 09, late 08 and 09, it was a very challenging year. Uh, I know a lot of friends that own uh, non Mr. Rooters that are in the plumbing industry and they were experiencing 20, 30 and 40 percent declines. I didn't, dis I didn't have a decline. And uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the system we in place. I think a lot of it had to do with not only using the system and building uh, a good base of customers that truly understand what Mr. Rooter is and how we're different than other plumbing companies. We actually chose this industry as far as the plumbing aspect of it because we felt that it would be something that people would always need. It's that service driven business that no matter good times or bad times, you're going to need a plumber. The values of Mr. Reuter are family oriented, and um, so they, uh, that just fits in with, with how we are as a family, that we're close together as a family, and, and they support that um, same idea. Yeah, it's helped, helped us. Um, it's allowed us to work together as, as, a, as a family, uh, with my mom and my dad and, and myself, and do it for an extended period of time. And uh, you we know. still love each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the system itself is more a customer oriented system. It gives you the tools to train your plumbers. And I like to turn plumbers into technicians, and I think there's a major difference. Uh, a plumber is someone that typically in our industry is looked upon by the homeowner as someone that probably is. Uh, not well shaven, the hair is not well kept, they probably have some body odor, they, they're not in, in uniform, they might have holy jeans. I mean, the, you know, the war stories and, and the negativity goes on and on and on. Uh, you take individuals like that have worked with other plumbing companies and you bring them into a plumbing company like ours, our Mr. Rooters operated like a business. Uh, so we give them pride not only in how they look, pride in what they do. So that when I, I can tell you that I'll get a, at least one or two calls a week from customers that compliment us on how our technicians look because the first question they ask when they open the door, are you the plumber that's going to be doing the work today because you don't look like you've been doing plumbing? It is a franchise, but each franchise is individually owned and operated. Uh, and so while they provide tools and support, they're not there telling us how to run our business on a day-to-day -day operations. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, being part of a team and we're in control of the, of the team, uh, but, you know, we have someone out there to help us if, if and when we need it. They help us, but they don't control us. You actually are an independently owned and operated franchise. Uh, you're free to uh, use all of their systems, uh, call upon their support when you need it. Uh, it just operate it as, as you would uh, any business that you want to be successful and profitable and, and build it in such a way that not only are you physically taken care of and personally taken care of financially, but you're able to take care of a group of employees and their families financially as well and offer them a better way of life. I, I don't think that there's a franchise, uh, you know, another uh, franchise out there that has the support that the Dwyer Group gives and, and continues to give. So that's, the list goes on though, it's just. And I also think technology, education on technologies and, and uh, marketing and where we need to be one step ahead of our competitor, um, you know, they seek that information out and make sure that we know exactly what we're doing and how we're buying our advertising. Uh, you know, we come to these meetings and we go through classes and all that kind of stuff, but most of what we get and take home is what we get from talking to other owners in the hall. Uh, hey, you know, what have, what have you been doing? How, is, how has this affected your company? You know, is it something you've tried? Or, you know, things like that, that, that you can't, if you're an individual owner, you just don't have the resources to uh, talk to other competitors or other, own, other plumbers in your area uh, on a consistent basis and th see how things are working. I highly recommend it. If you're someone that either is starting a new business and this is the, the way that you want to go or if you have an existing plumbing company or any other franchise and just maybe you're just at that stagnant point that you just can't get over that, that level, to that, you can't get to that next level, over that hump, 
you just gain so much from being part you, you have people to draw from. You're not alone. It's so nice to know that you're not alone out there, especially last year was tough on everyone and we weren't alone, you know. We had other people doing the same thing that we were doing and struggling and then it makes you feel a little bit better to know that you're all in the same boat. So I, I highly recommend it. It's been great. I think what Mr. Reuter gives you that your competitors don't have is the uh, wherewithal to call 250 plus other franchise owners and be able to share financial information, uh, share some of the challenges and problems you have with every day operating the business, uh, uh, talking to those that have experienced some similar problems, what have they done to get by those problems, how have they grown past that. I mean that's the synergy of a franchise system is just phenomenal. Things that we were doing in our company we felt there were areas that we were lacking in and as we researched Mr. Reuter, we found that they provided a lot of help and assistance in the areas that we felt we were weak in, and so that would help to make us a better company. We've been with Mr. Reuter for nine years, and our experience has been fantastic. We would not have been able to do this without Mr. Reuter.